This is a tutorial for Dex Science at 6.2. Hello, welcome to another exciting tutorial. In this video, we are going to build an improvised thermometer. The compartment we're going to use for that is B6.4.1.1 from our science set. We take the materials that we need from the compartment. Let's open this up. These are the materials we're going to need to build our improvised thermometer. So the first thing we're going to do is to place this tube onto this stand. Now this tube will allow our thermometric fluid to rise and fall help us indicate temperature. We are going to have to attach this tube to its support. And the way we do that is very simple. You have these holders. You have these holders. And then they go into these slits here. So gently squeeze into it like this. onto it like this. You can pull the tube to it like this. Very simple. Like this. Now once you've placed the first holder, you need to remove the top of the container that is going to serve as your bulb. And place tube and its support through the top. So as you can see, there is a cut out and then you put the tube and its support through that cut out. Very simple. And you push it until this horizontal slit here is above the head. So you have something like this. Now you can continue to put the other holders in place. You have it there. All your holders are in place. And the tube is also nicely in place. Once we are done with this, we are going to need this other part. Now note that this part has a double-sided tape attached to it. So we are going to remove that double-sided tape to expose the sticky side. Now we are going to place this through the horizontal slit such that the sticky side of the double-sided tape will be facing the head. Up here, and then make sure it's nice and fastened in place so that you have something that looks like this. Very simple. Now, once you've built this, the next step in the process 
is to ensure that we have our thermometric fluid. And to make the thermometric fluid is really simple. We need some water. Fill it almost to the brim. Once you're done with that, you're going to take your food color, which also comes as part of the set. And you're going to place some of that food color. Make sure the food color is completely dissolved. So now we have our thermometric fluid in the bulb. We have the tube through which the, the fluid can rise and fall to help us indicate temperature. Now, it's important to ensure that your tube is just in place so that it doesn't extend beyond this or extend beyond the base. It's very important that the tube does not extend beyond the base. Now, we have our thermometric fluid inside our bulb and then we also have the tube through which the thermometric fluid can rise and fall to help us indicate temperature. Now, the only thing we need to do is to seal this cutout completely so that air does not pass through any part of it. In order to seal up, you will need some Play-Doh. And there will be some Play-Doh inside your set. It may be different colors and different sizes, but you have some Play-Doh inside the set. Now, you're going to take some Play-Doh, knead it a little bit, to ensure it's nice and soft. You're going to turn the cover, and you're going to place the Play-Doh all around the cutout to ensure you have a near perfect seal. This is a really important part of the process. If it is not sealed well, your improvised thermometer will not work. We're going to try as much as possible to seal that completely. And when you're done, you come on top here seal this side as well. Again, to ensure that no air gets a chance to pass anywhere. Into or out of our improvised thermometer. Really important. have a nice tight seal both on both sides of our cover we can now place our setup onto it like this and as you do it observe as the liquid might shoot up when you close it our improvised thermometer is some hot water. We need to be very careful with this so as not to burn ourselves. So we have some hot water here and I'm going to place our thermometer into it. 
So as a thermometer warms up, you should begin to see a thermometric fluid rise through the tube. Yeah. So you see the thermometric fluid slowly rising. You see the thermometric fluid rising slowly through the tube. It's going to keep rising and keep rising to indicate trying to read the temperature of the warm water that we placed in. Another exciting activity. We built our own thermometer and we're able to measure the temperature of warm water. We've seen our thermometric fluid rise as our bulb is heated by the warm water. This is how the clinical thermometer works, but the thermometric fluid in there is made instead of water. As always, this has been another exciting activity made possible by the Dext Science Set. See you in the next video.